Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm doing my completion review of this image. This was a cross stitch pattern from Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, it was called the Quick Monta Montage by Ching Chow Quick. Um, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correct. So this was, I called it um, Quick Montage number one because um, the original image was this image here and there were nine images in all and I just, just did the one. So so yeah, this is from Heaven and Earth, um, Art, um, Heaven and Earth Designs. When I bought it, it was like 40% off. So it was um, $11.40, so divided by nine each pattern, I guess was $1.27. So um, the pattern itself was actually not that expensive. So, um, so I did get a canvas for, that was 40 by 50. Um, I bought it from Shao Rao on AliExpress. I spent, okay, so this $29.75 was for the canvas. And then I also bought um, a bunch of extra drills, but the canvas itself, I think was like $8. So I, and I also bought a bunch of 3770 um, because I needed a lot of that for the skin tone. And then I also bought some, 5200 ABs from Moon Crescent. So all in all, I've kind of spent about maybe $45 for just the initial setup of this, but I don't anticipate me having to, for the second picture, I only think I'm only gonna need to buy the, the canvas because I do have, when I bought the extra drills, I did it in anticipation of doing at least, I think I and at least four of the pictures. So I shouldn't need to buy any extra drills, hopefully. So yeah, the next one will just be the cost of the canvas. So I think $45 for a licensed image. Sure, I had to do <laughs> a little bit more work, but I think that was okay. And considering the next one will only be the cost of the canvas. Yeah, I think that was good. So this this um, pattern had 89 colors and I'd use square drills. And um, it took me 11 days to do this. So here it is. Okay, oops, I should put you up higher, 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 higher. Yeah, here it is. So it is, I, like I said, this is a 40 by 50. I did this with um, my leftover drills and um, I used, I did buy some drills just because I did not have enough of my leftover drills. Um, you would think with all my leftover drills, I would have had enough, but there were some colors I just had none of. So I did buy those separately, but I now have a supply of them. So now I'll be able to see, this is how much 3770 I ended up buying. Now for the second kit, I mean the second picture, I should be able to easily, hopefully easily um, finish it without having to try to find more so yeah the I did kit them up in these so this is going to be kind of a different um review because I one I can't I can't talk about really the drills or the canvas print or the quality of the drills or the um anything like that because I am using leftover drills the drill quality was um like differing because leftover drills you know from different companies didn't always match in size didn't always match in shade so going into this i already knew that those i i couldn't let those bother me those those the things that might bother me in other diamond paintings i couldn't let bother me in this because i do knew know that me using my leftover drills and not buying a canvas and drills from the same place and the fact that the canvas was white so um and even in the dark colors you might see the white background while in a normal canvas print like they could get away with slightly smaller drills just because you'll just you won't see it because there'll be a black background um so i knew that going into this that those like i had to put myself in the mindset that yes they will probably be gapping yes um you might be like like in these you could see the the black um outline for the grid from under it so i am just talking about that now so i could get that out of the way <laughs> but but yeah overall so now 
the only thing I really can talk about really is the rendering. So since I did this from a cross stitch pattern on a blank canvas, um, one, I didn't have to be like, oh, the symbol clarity was great. But yeah, there because there was no symbol clarity, it was from a um, cross stitch pattern. So, so yeah, so the rendering, I think looks really, really good. Like, um, the fact that I had 89 colors. I probably did not use all 89 colors for this image. A lot of these image, the, these colors might be for the other images in the in the pattern because I mean this what this this I don't think I used any of the reds. Um, yeah, I don't think I used any of the reds in this. So I know at least I did not. Yeah. Or no, wait, there's some red here. Ha. Huh. So like, even though I think I might not have used, I don't think I used everything. Maybe at most I used maybe 70% of the colors. But what is nice is when you have that many colors, you can like use them to, like like this. Like I seriously probably only use like this red. I think I only use like three of them. And then that orange. I think that might have been the only instance that I used that orange drill right there. So, so yeah, no, I think this turned out really beautiful. I doing this, I found that the varying shades, I don't think you could tell. Um, so when I was doing the diamond painting at first, I was like, okay, I'm going to just use this one because I have the most of that shade. But towards like the end, I, I kind of started running out of drills. Um, for that shade. So then I just kind of mixed in the other shade and Can you tell that I might have for some of my DMC's a slightly different shade? I don't think so. I think this looks really really good um, and Remember if you watched my kidding up, I I did end up so the first DMC is 032 which does not exist in um, diamond painting, but when I looked that up, that was an opalescent pearl. So what I ended up getting was um, 5200 AB. So that ends up ended up just being kind of weirdly put in. So there's some in the eyes. Um, and I think there were some in the right here. And then there's like some in this flower. So um, without being able to see it, you know, charted on canvas with picture, there was no me changing anything so I put in the DMC they wanted um, so no enhancements um, and yes I could have placed this a little bit better you, you might be like you might see there is a little bit more gapping um, mainly because some of the drills were smaller um, I did get my 3770 from AZQSD which is a Huacan um, sister store and if you've done any Huacan diamond paintings, you may have noticed that their drills are smaller than um, other diamond painting companies, but they do offset the smaller drills with their canvas being printed smaller too. So um, that's why it usually does kind of fit together because they do compensate for the smaller drills by printing their canvas smaller. But this one, when I measured it, the, the, the grid was exactly 2.5 millimeters which it should be um but yeah um i think overall this turned out good i am not planning to display this in the house that's why i knew going in i was i didn't i was telling myself no this is just for the fun of the experience of trying out something new and i really did enjoy it um and then and it's not really my type of image <laughs> to put up on my house but it's it's a fun image i think to do and so yeah no the, i just got these mainly because i thought it would be fun um it would be a good experience to do a heaven and earth designs cross stitch pattern and and hey what's it called with it being i was able to get nine images i guess for 1140 each thing was only 127 so i was like hey look this is a bargain so so yeah um, I think oh, so there's only the only thing that I kind of didn't like is I'm not sure if you could tell like over here and down here 
it started like fading into like a yellow green color um, instead of you know just the other skin tone and when I was looking at the original image it does it does have that so I can see why there is a I don't know if you can tell but there is a slight dark darker shade there so that's probably why there is like that <clears throat> more yellow tone here but if you know if this was being displayed I might decide to just take this all out and put just the 3770 but nope not gonna do that Oh, and, and here are the rest of the images. So if, well, let me show you my thumbnails, if I can find it. So here are the rest of the images. Um, if any of you guys have an opinion which one I should do next, I'd love to know because, you know what, <laughs> it saves me the trouble of trying to figure that out myself, right? Um, the only one I'm thinking I might never do is this top one. I don't know what is up with it it just seems really washed out but if I'm really bored I'll be like yeah let's just but you know maybe maybe it's because I I made it bigger because this original image doesn't look that bad but it just seems yeah this top image I don't know why it just looks washed out but the other images I think look will probably turn out really really good and this one I am very happy with how this turned out what's funny is on camera it looks more blue um, the hair but it actually is purple so so when I was doing it I was like wow why is her hair purple the original image is blue but now that I'm kind of looking at this on camera it does look more blue than purple so oh yeah and, um if you see here doing a cross stitch pattern on a blank canvas and my canvas did not have um it separated into 10 um 10 square grids I had to do it myself so there was a lot of counting doing this so I had to do like it was it was a little different doing a diamond painting from a cross stitch pattern because there was a lot more counting of squares instead of looking for symbols and I did use the app that um, four kids at 147 uses for her heaven and earth designs which was um, it was called Pattern Keeper and it it actually with so the the app you're able to so the app you upload the the um, cross stitch pattern and then you kind of zoom into a certain section that you want to do so I did this did take me it did I did end up having to do much smaller sections just because of all the number counting the square counting um, but the app allowed you to zoom into a section and then it allowed you to um, to choose a, one of the symbols on the pattern so you just like um, touch the, the 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 symbol on the pattern on the app and then it would be like that's 3770 so it actually kind of made it a little bit easier than like diamond painting where you look at the symbol and then you have to find it on your on your um, on on your containers it was more like you click the symbol or not click it but you know touch it because it's a touch screen um, you touch the symbol and then it highlights all of that symbol in in on that's on the screen so um, you don't have to look for the symbol and then it also told me oh yeah that symbol is this DMC so I didn't have to look for the DMC in my containers I just knew or I didn't have to look for the symbol in my containers. It just told me what the symbol was. Um, so yeah, I'm actually thinking, hmm, I wonder if they could, you could somehow scan a diamond painting and it could do that because it did make like, it did make finding the color easier. But yeah, no, there was a lot of counting drills on this one. And I'm kind of happy that I, um, that I, put them into these smaller containers instead of like a bigger container because even though I did have to constantly fill these up um, it it allowed me to see the symbols right away in a smaller section um, <laughs> instead of like in a big container so so yeah even though like I said I had to constantly refill those um, but I wasn't gonna have all my drills for 
this thing, because this would have been like four 40 by 50s worth of drills. And then I also did um, center this myself, so that's why it's a little lopsided. So originally I, I had it calculated down to like how many squares I needed on each side, and I had it calculated correctly, but I was, so since this was the first time I used this canvas, I was kind of afraid that I would run out of squares. So I did use two less on this side. So now those two less are actually added to this. So that's why it's not completely centered, but I will do it better on the next one. <laughs> um, and then I also chose to do this image first, just because it was on the top um, corner and that's where zero started. So I just figured with me never having cross stitched, um, I needed, I needed some, uh, I needed the easy portion to do first. So I did this one first, but now I'm actually thinking if I actually do all of the images, I might actually run out of my 310 like stash, which is great because I have so many 310, um, drills. So now I'm like, Hmm, maybe I need to do some more heavy, Three, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was it was really fun. It was um, to do this. Um, I it was fun enough that um, I already ordered my next blank canvas. Um, so it, I haven't gotten it yet, but like I said, it was fun enough that I'm gonna go for more of it. So yeah, I just cut off the edges here. I'm going to go put it into my portfolio book. Um, I did already, I got two pieces of this construction paper and taped it together. Man, like, it doesn't look as black as, <laughs> as the drills since I don't think I've, yeah, I don't think I've put in like a fully all around black, um, diamond painting on one of these black backgrounds. So now I'm just going to get some my double sided tape here. Um, but yeah, no, I think, I think it was a fun enough experience that I might, I don't know, do I really want to do another one? I still have eight or more pictures, right? Um, but it was fun enough that I'm actually contemplating like looking through the heaven and earth designs website and possibly getting another pattern, but I just don't think I have enough spares. Yeah, I don't think I have enough spares to do it. Um, but we'll see. If I do that, I'm, and if it's more of an image that I would want to put on, like, on a wall or something, I would probably just buy the canvas and the drills from the same place. Um, so I'd probably spend a little bit more money, but but the problem with the heaven and earth design things are is they're huge like if you look at their their patterns and then you do the whole divide it so that you could figure out what size canvas you need to get they're huge and i don't do huge diamond paintings i don't know if you notice that um while i think i'm perfectly capable of doing a huge diamond painting i just don't know where to store them so i choose purposely not to and and apparently I have, I must have some sort of attention span of like a five-year-old or something, but I can't <laughs> seem to work on the same diamond painting for a long time. So the big ones tend to, tend to get to me, like for whatever reason. So I like doing these. I like, I, my favorite size right now is the 40 by 50. I like doing them. Um, they're not so big that I lose my, it loses my attention. Um, but they're not so small that you can't get like a really awesome quality. I mean, an awesome result. So, I mean, I have, I have done some bigger ones. Um, it's just, I do notice that I start getting like a diamond painting fatigue, I guess, from when doing one diamond painting, the same diamond painting for a long time. So, um, it's worked out for me better to do these smaller ones. Um, I enjoy it more. I get that satisfaction of the finish faster. Maybe I'm impatient and I just want it done. But man, I can't seem to peel this one without peeling the tape back. 
I'm gonna try this side again. Okay. But yeah, no, I liked the fact that this one, I was able to just cut it into, well, potentially be nine 40 by 50s. If I do, I was also there, like after finishing this, I was also like, you know, I kind of want to know what this would look like if I did this in round, but the same one. So, so instead of like comparing a round versus square of the same size, um, it would be more of a round versus square comparison of the same exact rendering. And I was like, that to me kind of sounded interesting. So maybe we'll see. I have so many projects I want to do. I just don't have the time. Um, <laughs> but maybe I will. I, here is my portfolio book. I already have it open to the last page. Um, but but yeah it's huge um but yeah i have so many plans for so many things and i just don't have time to do all the plans for all the things so i have to think about what i'm gonna do next you know kind of thing because yeah this was not this was not an easy project even though i didn't say it only took me 11 days it was not easy but all right, so there it is in my portfolio book. Isn't it pretty? All right, thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Well, I should bring you down first, but all right, bye.